Hey everyone, I'm Greg. And I'm Maddie. And have you ever tried to catch a fly? Seriously, it's so difficult, no matter how much you sneak up on them, they'll always see you first. That is what this film is all about. We're going to tell you why it's so hard to catch a fly. I'm going to give you a clue. It's all in the eyes. Okay, well, I give up. Let's go inside to find out. Good plan. We're at the Robot Zoo in the Hornaby Museum to meet this giant robotic fly who's going to help us answer this curious question. Take us through it, Matt. Right, okay, so a fly has six legs, two wings, and it, can you believe that a fly tastes with its feet and it sucks up its food through something called a proboscis. It's this vacuum-like nozzle. But if you've ever seen a fly up close, you might have noticed its amazing eyes. Us humans have two eyes, but a fly has so many more than that. Each of these is called a compound eye, and it's made of thousands of tiny, small, individual eyes, each one called an omatidium. And that means that it sees the world in a very different way to us, and that's one of the main reasons it's so hard to catch a fly. We can move our eyes around like this, and that's because we have muscles attached to our eyes that pull them in all different directions. But flies don't have those muscles, so they can't move their eyes around. So how do they see when we try to creep up on them? Well, flies don't need those muscles because they have thousands of eyes that allow them to see all around them. In fact, they practically have 360 degree vision. There. 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 Yes. Now you might think it's going to be a bit weird to see so many views of the world at once, but actually it's not. You see a really crisp image. Put all those views together from all of those eyes and you get a really good picture of the world. But it's not just a fly's eyes that help it to avoid capture. Oh no, flies also have sticky pads on their feet. And this is what helps them to stick to ceilings and walls, just about anywhere that's out of your reach. And these sticky pads, they produce a sugar oil mix that acts like glue. So that is why it's really hard to catch a fly. Yep. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this, and click on that bell to get notified every time we post a new video. If you want to see another curious question answered from here at the Robot Zoo, click on the giant squid. <laughs> Stay curious and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.